So I took you shopping, got you all this stuff, and you couldn't just buy me food? Are you giving me some? Bro, you couldn't just get me some food, though? Why are you giving me some? You got me a cup of water. You ain't getting nothing from me. Never again. I got all of that already. I'm returning all that. Yup, all gone. You sat there and left me hanging with nothing to eat. Buy your own food. Wow. Dude, if I was you, I'm leaving that chick the second she says, buy your own food. You just got finessed, my G. But maybe I'm taking it out of contest. They might be just joking around. Who knows? Like, I'm at the stage in life here yeah, where any girl I meet now, like, I gotta be able to bust in your mouth. Bro, look at her face. She doesn't even know if she should laugh or clap back at him. Castillo is outrageous, man. It doesn't give a fuck about anything. I saw this interview. Yes, I call it an interview. Not a date because he was just there. He wasn't trying to win her or anything. And Castillo is too honest and blunt, bro. He's always straight to the point. Fell in love with somebody who don't even... God! This is why we have to be cautious around you. You know, this is why we have to change our higher behavior around you and and the conversations you have when we're not around is absolutely disgusting and until you start calling out this kind of behavior we don't know we don't know who we can trust like this is absolutely disgusting I understand your point, but a woman cannot be watched from my own experience. If she wants to cheat, she's going to do it. And we as men can do nothing about it. You just gotta take it on the chin and leave her. Move on with your life. I know it's going to hurt, especially if you love that woman and she does that to you. It's hard, I know, but you got to get your shit together and move on. This is very funny. You've done a good job, Solder. That's all I have to say. But as I said earlier, a woman cannot be watched. I cannot stand you anymore. You are so selfish. The most selfish person I've ever been in my life. You only think about yourself. What's your problem? What's the... Mother... She the door! Just to keep it in context, this is obviously a joke. But guys, now you know what you have to do if your girl starts screaming and shouting at you like that. Why do so many women today say they don't need a man? Because we're independent as hell. If a man has friends, doesn't want kids, hires a maid and hires a dude, why would a man need a woman? Shit. He could learn a thing, a one or thing, a two or thing, well, ah! ah! This is when being independent and strong goes wrong. He can learn what? Nothing. Women who have this mentality are very good at arguing for no reason at all. That's why I say focus on yourself, guys. You don't want to be chasing these types of women because it's a headache dealing with an argumentative person. HP, you can't cook. You should open up a book. Let me tell you what I would prefer. Not these snails that look like her. Oh. Hey man, stop violating Rose every time on this show. They're obviously joking, but Rose, you gotta clap back sometimes. Normally, when we have on our wild and out costumes and wardrobe, I feel like I'm very covered up. But today, I feel like you can actually see my true figure and how thick I really am. And all this cake batter. Uh, you ain't got no damn ass, girl. But you got on a see-through, and we see right through your ass. That was a violation, bro. She looks so stunned when he said that to her. Put your finger down. If you fucking added some bitch on Snapchat because she put on her stupid Instagram story and her Snapchat, and you didn't even like that one there was a violation. My man doesn't care. Even after all that, he doesn't give a single f about it. Life is easy for him. Keep doing you, man. Shut up. I don't shut up. I grow up. And when I look at you, I throw up. Well, at least I'm not adopted. Wait. She knew what was coming when she said that. Did y'all hear her when she said, wait at the end? She knew that the heat was coming for her. Husband is honey when he gives money. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes. I think wife is cute when she's mute. Man, if you girls like this, send her back to the street immediately. Or you better get the fuck out of that relationship. So you think covering up something disgusting by using something beautiful? So is that why you girls wear makeup? This kid again, bro, he's just violating people left and right. I mean, he got a point to be honest. But anyway, let's continue. Baby, baby, you're just like A, B, C, D, E, 
T-H-I-J-K. So what that mean? Attractive, brilliant, cute, and dazzling. Elegant, funny, gorgeous, and hot. So I'm um, to I-J-K. I'm just kidding. Brother just really say here and says something that we look for. Women want men to communicate to us. We want it. And he just communicated to us that men don't care about That's what That's what I'm saying. Men have been has. telling women what we want. We want feminine, fit, and friendly women. Yes. Yeah, I keep oh thinking God. we want degree. But no, you have we to, don't. You have to men have I never, know that you guys don't historically, want that. I know that. Historically, historically, men have never cared about a woman's and that's not just going black men. to work. That's not just black men. I agree with what he's saying, but it's up to mother women if they want to change. I like that girl with the short hair because she is actually listening to the points that have been made. She's not trying to argue and make it all about herself. All right, single dudes, here's your birth control. Did you know that in most states in the event of a child being born, the mother will get sole physical and legal custody just right off the bat? That means if you want to make any decision about your child or even see your child, you have to fight for it in court with a lawyer. Even if your name is on the birth certificate and you've proven that you're the real father, if you're not married, you are not entitled to custody. Ooh, but you're gonna pay that child support though. And a fun thing about child support is they don't need to use your actual income. They can use a magical system called potential income. That means they can go, oh, you make 40,000 a year, but your boss makes 70,000 a year. There's no reason you can't get to where your boss is being. So we're going to calculate your child support based off of the potential income of your boss's $70,000 salary, even though you only make $40,000. That's because thanks to Title 4D of the Social Security Act, the state gets a certain huge percentage of every payment of child support made. The state just has much more to gain from you being a non-custodial parent with no rights over your child and simply being a paycheck than the child being afforded the opportunity to have two equal parents with 50-50 custody. That's why if even down the line you find out that you were never the father, you're going to keep paying child support until they're 18. State's got to get the money from somebody. I got a whole lot more to say, but for now, fellas, be very careful out there. And if she tells you not to worry about the condom, worry about the condom. Guys, please be aware of this and don't just go sleeping around with no protection. Because this shit is fucking scary, bro. I didn't know this is my first time hearing this. It's clearly unfair to the men. If a man and his wife have a child and they decide to break things off, the law always going to favor the women. It's unfair for the men. Listen. If you have to wait until you get paid to buy me something, give me money, send me somewhere on vacation while you work, um, if you're going to hit me with the, babe, go ahead and pay it and I'll pay you next week when I get paid, bleh. Listen, my advice to you is to stay single and save your money. You cannot afford to be in no relationship especially with a woman like me. Do you know what I did when I saw this for the first time? I laughed my ass off because the solution is very simple. No one in his right mind would be in a relationship with an entitled woman like you. That's the end of it. All right, sexy. Get upstairs now. Honey, are you enough? No, football's about to start. F*** off upstairs. Emotional, damn it!